Good morning, DLV. How's everybody doing? What's kicking chickens? Can't really get sick of that view, can ya? Mm. Me? I know. Gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> After I get a little bit of coffee, today we're gonna head to a little old place that I love to visit every time I'm here. It's pretty much YouTuber heaven. Like that from the video yesterday, how it was like shoe guy heaven. This one's like video camera heaven. I know Charles goes here pretty much every time he's in New York. I think it's called B&H, but it's like just a massive store of cameras and camera accessories and I guarantee you we're gonna buy at least one thing while we're there. Or two, one for you, one for me. Or that, but like I said, coffee first. Just look at it guys, look at this. It's just all above you, that is crazy. Look at this stuff, oh, this is awesome. We're in B&H, which by the way you can shop online. Just want to remind everyone of that. And you can shop online. You don't actually have to come to the store. Yeah, but you got to be in here to see it all. For instance, where are you going to see the weirdest mounts in the entire world? For instance, Go Knuckles. It's like brass knuckles for your GoPro. And I bet you can find it on their website. If you think that's silly, don't worry. There's something more practical. Like the mouth held GoPro mount. You simply put it in your mouth while you're surfing. I'm sorry, I think that one's actually useful. I would use the grow mount. <laughs> like it would just be a nice like different range of motion, you know? A different little little way to see things, I think. So I found out what it's for. Uh, right now I'm trying to get a light to light up some of the darker shots, whether it's for the podcast video or for this, and a tripod. But I'm asking you to see a particular light and they're sending it up right now so that we could take a look at it. That is high tech. Oh, I love this place. Me too. <laughs> See? Like, Boys I and mean, girls alike. I do look and I'm like, oh, I want a steady mount thing and I need a mic for like when we film outside and I do all the bikini stuff. Like I need a mic to cut, like get rid of the wind for that. But like, I'm gonna do my research online and just order it. <laughs> we don't have to come. You're missing the art of the experience. <laughs> Waiting in line is my least favorite experience. <laughs> you get to meet the people, talk face to face with those who are here to help. I will support from afar, forever. <laughs> gotcha. So not only does that little conveyor belt system show you the items, but then they send it to the cashier here, and that's how you get your stuff. I'm, I'm nerd now. Me too. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> yes, now we're coming up on the High Line Park. Oh. Which is what we were talking about yesterday, where you get to just walk this old abandoned subway line that they've converted into a beautiful park. This is exactly what I expected, and it's awesome. It's really cool. All the greenery makes it. It'd feel a little different if there weren't plants here and we're just like walking. Yeah. This will be fun, but like, the view is cool, you know? The best part is definitely the greenery and how like it just looks like it's natural. Like some of it sprung up. I know they added some to it, but most of it's just like what was growing here anyway. <laughs> it smells pleasant, like a spring smell. This really is a park. I mean, there's it's over like the city, but there's like little places to sit, little places to look. I could it smells use, good. it smells great. I could use a potty here in a second. Hopefully they have public park restrooms. You don't think I'm supposed to just go off the side, do you? No. No? No, please do not. No, me, me neither. There it is. The actual track that this thing was built over. So cool. Oh, you want me to play? Right. Make out with the fountain. <laughs> 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 I 
Oh. That's an interesting one I found. Very interesting. Speaking of interesting, look at this park. Stop. This little old place called Schnippers. It was on the Food Network, and it is a suggestion of a friend, Thomas and Kristen. Hi, guys. Thomas helps us out with our websites, and if you listen to the podcast, he's a part of every single one. Helping us out behind the scenes. Awesome dude. And this is his suggestion. So if it stinks, we're gonna blame him. Don't blame me. Blame the Food Network. Yeah, there you go. Thomas is also a magician, and I begged him to show us a trick before we start eating this food. So would you mind, sir? I would not mind. Are you a film guy? I am holding a camera and was just at B&H. I would say I'm a film guy. Now would you say you're a movie buff? I would also say I'm a movie buff, yes. Now there's some, there's a class of people who are a little bit over a movie buff, and that is film prop collectors. Film prop collectors, okay. I happen to be one of them. What is this? This is from a little film you might recognize called The Blair Witch Project. The Blair Witch Project, oh yeah. It's known as a haunted doll from the, from the movie. Okay. What we're gonna do. Oh, what? What? Danny, wave your, wave your hand over. Make sure there's no wires. No wires. None at all. Okay. Lindsay, put your finger around it. No, nothing there. You, you can even pick it up if you want. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, crazy. A little floating Blair Witch Project thing. I'm, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> if you haven't, if you seen, haven't the seen the movie, that was the weirdest clip you've ever seen. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie, you have no idea what's going on, but. That was, yeah. okay, so it's definitely a haunted watch. I can do it. It's, sim it's simple. Now you're cursed. <laughs> it's gonna follow you home. No! <laughs> we are now walking to the spot where we're gonna meet up with everybody, and we're slowly assembling a crew of people. Yes. Lindsay's got flowers already. I haven't gotten any flowers yet. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna get any. You'll get the chocolates. I'll get the chocolates. I hope. It's hilarious. We're just gonna add people all the way, the whole walk. Let's see how big we can make our pack. It's like a zombie crawl, like. Yeah. You're walking dead, like you're walking too, and then all of a sudden there's just a pack of people behind you. <laughs> exactly. Oh, wait, these aren't zombies. These are, these are nice. Uh, we are getting the meet and greet all set up. Thomas killing it, as usual. DLV and NYC. Kristen's helping. It's awesome. Kristen is helping. We're lucky. Maybe a couple people are lined up. Oh, hi, guys! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. I don't know why, but I have this urge to just scare the first person that comes in. Do it. <laughs> All right. two people were gonna show up. Yeah. <laughs> but they showed up. Thank you guys for showing up. We do love you. Uh, you can find yourself in the vlog, obviously, so pick yourself out. Do something weird right now so you know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. What do you have there? <laughs> is it, this is a Miser King. He's got the snout and everything. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> This is why we have to go home because I miss my dog. Like, I want to stay for like weeks and weeks here and then I'm like, I miss my dog. Could you imagine oh. if he was here right now just smelling everybody's ankles? Peeing on everyone's Peeing feet. on everybody. <laughs> Our friend uh, Aaron just brought us the world's heaviest cookies. This is four cookies and it feels like seven, eight pounds. Yeah, it looks like hamburgers. Look at the cookies. Oh my gosh. I like how the DLV is like, you guys are looking too skinny. Here, here's all the sugar in the world. We appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. We're back at our good luck place, Brother Jimmy's. <laughs> we had to take Kristen and Thomas. We wanted to thank them so much for putting on the DLV in NYC. Thank everybody for coming out. We we'll give them a shout out. Go right here. Visit him. <laughs> Good people. They're really good people. Woo! I'm so glad there's not a Lightning Rangers game on right now. Me too. I'm so happy. All right, we're heading home right now. We're in the middle of Times Square. Let's just imagine it's New Year's. It's New Year's. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Happy New Year, guys! Oh my God! Uh, May 28th. I can't believe we were here. <laughs> the New Year. Hi, right, guys. We're gonna take a night from the streaming place in New York City, Times Square. As always, thank you guys so much for the vlogs. And we have a special surprise for you guys. I know this isn't the end of our day, but we had to come back here so that we could say, as always, NYC! Oh. And then Lindsay wanted to say, as always. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh my goodness. $9,000 for the Marty McFly. How many did it make? I don't know right now, but <laughs> as of as of editing, I just looked it up. This is how many of those shoes they make. So I wore nine grand. This is the lost case of shoes.